details of another dastardly terror attack, this time in Bandipura. The spate of targeted killings continuing right now in the valley. Again, a non-local who's been targeted, a non-local laborer who was shot dead by terrorists in Bandipura. Terrorists fired at the laborer in Bandipura. The victim has been identified as Mohammed Amrez, a resident of Bihar. He was shifted to a hospital soon after the attack, but later succumbed to his injuries. The incident comes days after uh, another non-local was killed by terrorists. Terrorists have stepped up attacks on locals and on uh, non-locals as well after a wanted Lashkar commander, Latif Rater, was killed in Badgam. Uh, Latif was involved in the murder of Kashmiri pundits. Ashraf Ani is joining us on the phone lines with more on this. Ashraf, uh, horrifying details that are emerging of this particular incident in Bandipura. Terrorists continuing with these targeted killings of non locals of Kashmiri pundits. Basically, this is another unfortunate incident where this poor laborer from Bihar has been shot uh, dead by unidentified gunmen, believe it, terrorists in the Bandipura district of North Kashmir. He was uh, among the uh, hundreds of non-local workers who uh, work in the summer season across the Kashmir Valley in different areas. And a very young uh, boy, namely Mohammed Amrez from Bihar, he was uh, during the night shot by unidentified gunmen, which police said uh, are the terrorists who want, who uh, uh, always want to target the non-locals since last many months. And at some incidents, uh, they have uh, made these non-locals and the Kashmiri pundits target. And in fact, there was some kind of a surveillance on the, these kind of uh, activities across the Kashmir Valley when there was a rise in these cases. But now after some time, once again, these non-local laborers are being targeted by the terrorists, what police says that these okay. are the uh, top Ashraf, targets. just stay on with uh, me. Also joining us on this broadcast is Mr. S.P. Ved, former DGP of Jammu and Kashmir. Mr. Ved, uh, you know, unfortunately that we're seeing these kind of targeted killings. Do you believe, sir, that in the days to come there could be more such attempts by terrorists in the valley? Yes, there is a possibility because terrorists look for uh, uh, any news they can make uh, to spoil 75th uh, Amrit Mahatsabha of independence that India is celebrating. And uh, generally, you know, if you recall, uh, every 15th August, there is uh, increased security and patrolling and uh, uh, security, uh, heightened security uh, arrangements. And the terrorists will look for any opportunity. They will not spare even a local Kashmiri. And uh, particularly outsiders, uh, you know, they are target, being targeted. Kashmiri pundits are being targeted. Minorities are being targeted. Uh, the policemen are being targeted. The political workers are being targeted. So uh, they would uh, go for more uh, targeted killings. And uh, even local Kashmiri... Uh, if they get an opportunity, they will not spare to make a news. Uh, Mr. Ved, what do you think is the attempt by terrorists here? What is the message they're trying to send across when they target these non-locals? And particularly because these incidents are, are happening days after the Lashkar commander who was behind the killings of Kashmiri pundits was neutralized by our forces. Yes, absolutely. Uh, uh, the uh, murder of Rahul Bhatt and uh, other Kashmiri migrants was uh, eliminated in Badgam district only a year, day before. And um, the, uh, I think they, they are attempting to send a message that outsiders, uh, if they are uh, within their range, they will target them so that uh, no outsider dares. They can create the atmosphere of terror, that is classical terrorism, which they are undertaking under this hybrid terrorism, uh, which they have unleashed for the last, last seven, eight months. So uh, after uh, realizing that the pa Pakistan deep state realized that uh, they have uh, they are losing the game in Kashmir, they have resorted to this because they were losing their men, the weapons in all encounters. So that's why this hybrid terrorism and targeted killings they have resorted to after meeting of the deep state uh, ISI chief uh, uh, in last year in somewhere around August September in Muzaffarabad. 
All right, Mr. S.P. Well, thank you very much, sir, for joining us here on India Today with your perspective on what's playing out in the valley. So it's clear right now that there's a high alert that's been sounded, not just to Kashmir, but across the country in the run-up to Independence Day. And that's because of the fact that some intel inputs have been received about how there are attempts to disturb peace ahead of Independence Day. Uh, while security agencies have been put on high alert, Intel inputs have revealed that Pakistan-based terror outfits are planning to target our forces. India today has accessed crucial Intel inputs that reveal how IEDs uh, inside daily usage items, inside loudspeakers, could be attempted to be pushed into events on Independence Day. There is also, according to sources, attempts to use small arms to target individuals. So that's why all events that are going to be held on Independence Day, they will be thorough checking, thorough scanning. Uh, the also concern is the, that various Sikh militant outfits are under pressure of Pakistan ISI to activate militant activities in Punjab. Security agencies across the country have been put on high alert, keeping in mind past incidents and also this current alert from intel agencies.